by um, sort of uh, tools that track time code so that um, people can, can interact with each other asynchronously. So you could have comment that happens two months apart from the, the previous one, but that is actually about that particular piece of time code or time in the show. So I think that um, on demand is still going to be the predominant way people are going to consume content in the future. And I think that the um, social media will adapt to an on demand world. We have rewards that are only available during live content. But I think the conversations are still great conversations even after the fact. Like if your friend just gets into a show that you started watching months ago, you can still have that dialogue and still socialize around it. So I think it's not going to matter as much to the fan because they're still going to have to share that. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, we've had viewing parties, so people can actually create uh, a time where they invite their friends to watch an on-demand party, so that, that can happen in that format. Um, we also uh, initiated something called episode commentary two years ago, which we had uh, cast and crew essentially provide social media like commentary that is time-coded to what's happening in the episode, so people can watch the episode again, get comments from, and that actually was very, that's more popular. We actually gave a tool uh, way back for viewers to actually comment on the shows themselves and then send to their friends, hey, come and watch my episode or whatever it is with my comments. But surprisingly, but that actually didn't get a whole lot of traction. I think people just didn't want to spend time commenting on the entire yeah. episode. But I do think ultimately um, a lot of this user-contributed content around time code actually becomes a form of metadata that will be appended to the show and then will actually have a lot of value. Any other questions? Alright, more questions.